Ordinary Zimbabweans have expressed mixed feelings following the unilateral declaration by President Robert Mugabe to hold elections on July 31 this year. President Mugabe invoked temporary presidential powers Thursday to call for amendments outside of parliament. We need to have to go to the elections and for on the 31st of next month so that we can have one government and maybe things will be much better for us as Zimbabweans. Most of us young people, we, we, we don't have jobs. We have qualifications for the jobs, but we don't have the jobs. So I'm sure if we might have some jobs, it could be something better for us as Zimbabweans. It has been long now since they have been saying they are going to be elections, changing the time. I think whatever he airs out, it's about from the GP. Hey. They've agreed and they know they are following the constitution and we are just waiting for them to tell us exactly what is going to take place. Until Let's wait and see until the 31st of July and see what is going to happen. Well, I think uh, elections are long overdue and I'm happy that we're going to have elections soon. But um, <laughs> I just hope they're going to be peaceful. That's my why. Because uh, traditionally we have had uh, people dying during the campaign period. Economically, I want people to get jobs. I'll, yeah, I just want things to get better. Education, health. We want um, members of parliament uh, who deliver. Like, we want things to change. Like for instance, I heard that um, in the Ministry of Health, um, patients are being withheld in the hospitals if they fail to pay bills. So I just think that if maybe elections can bring change in a positive way to all those problems. Prime Minister Morgan Changirai has said he would take his case to a SADC meeting to be held in South Africa this weekend. Uh, I instructed my attorneys to file an agent application to deal with this matter. In addition, I'll be leaving tomorrow for SADC and they will fully brief the regional leaders on the crisis in Zimbabwe. Finally, I want to appeal to all fellow Zimbabweans to remain calm but vigilant in the face of this provocation and illegality. Zimbabweans now await a SADC decision from the meeting to be held over the weekend.